What made you want to be a part of this franchise? I just love this world so much. You know, the the, the time it takes place and uh, the originality of the characters and the, you know the world it's set really fascinated me as a kid. And um, I think with every movie, they they inserted great cast and uh, you know it seemed like a boundless world of creation and uh, I think this this movie number five really throws in so many different genres into the into the one movie um, it was super exciting to be a part of well they wrote a great role for you and I personally think it's the best of the five so you traveled recently to promote the film tell me what it was like to get the reaction from the fans who appear I really learned how big this movie is worldwide you know um, people within America love this movie and uh, you know traveling to China for the world premiere and then to Paris for the for another premiere um, it's really exciting to see that it's affected people you know on the worldwide scale and um, millions of people all over the world are really excited to see this come out and you know are looking forward to see what kind of new world that we've created so it's, it's really cool okay tell me what you like about Henry Turner I like that he's driven. I like that he um, has a very strong moral compass. He's fighting for love and he's fighting to, you know, uh, basically rescue his father so he can have a relationship with him. Yeah, I think that's one of the great stories of the film. Tell us about his mission and why he helps drive the story forward in this film. Well, we see him as a young boy um, at the start of the film having a conversation with his father and in which where he says, he, I've heard of a treasure that can that can break your curse and free you, and um, Will Turner, in return, says, "If there if such a thing exists, then there's one pirate that can help you find this, and his name's Jack Sparrow." And so, what we see from then on is, you know, Henry searching for Jack Sparrow and you know, trying to convince him to form an alliance with him to search for this treasure to save his father. Very well said. Okay, um, you you acted opposite Johnny Depp playing with him. How did it? Or, or did you learn from Johnny, working with Johnny? Yeah, I think uh, it's hard not to, you know. He's very inspiring. To watch him work is a work of art, you know. Um, we're kind of lucky because we saw, you know, many takes that are not in the movie. So we were kind of privileged, um, you know, priv the privileged, privileged audience members that got to see those, you know, 10, 20 funny outtakes that, uh, that didn't make the movie, but. A, you know, just as funny. Maybe in the director's cut, one minute left. That's right, yeah. Um, what did you enjoy the most about being there? I think um, the, the, the energy that we had when we were shooting, you know, um, it, it was kind of a fast-paced movie. You know, it took a long time to shoot, but uh, there's so many moving parts, and um, it just seemed like, you know, other movies, there's, you know, a couple of sets and this and that, but this one, you know, the, the world is endless, you know, we've got massive set pieces every day and, you know, huge action sequences, so it was, wasn't boring. <laughs> okay, so I have time for one more question in about 20 seconds. What set most impressed you? It was the Coral set. I thought the attention to detail and the artwork, um, the colors that were painted um, by the on-set painter were just fantastic. Hey, it's Lisa here with a pretty cool movie extras fact. Now, the parting of the Red Sea and the Ten Commandments from 1956 is often considered the most expensive special effects in history. It involved matte paintings, reproduction, pyrotechnics, miniatures, water tanks, a 32-foot high dam, and 30,000 gallons of water. The parting was shot by pouring water into the tank and then playing the shot in reverse. Now keep up to date with all the latest releases by subscribing to our channel and checking the notification bell. And I'll see you next time.